Big banks are not having the best of weeks because there's two developments that really affect their bottom line and their future. The first, the Federal Reserve has decided to end the emergency funding to these banks, although they kept the provision to decide who qualifies for emergency funding. On the other side, we have a new bill, a highway bill that is taking away a subsidy of the banks that has been in place for a hundred years. And I'm talking about this idea that when the Federal Reserve was invented in, in 1913, they created an incentive for banks to join. And this incentive was an investment fund. They had to buy a stock in the Federal Reserve to get a 6% dividend back every year. And ever since, almost more than 100 years, they have been enjoying from this. Now, some people, Margaret, are really, really happy to see that the crumbling infrastructure is being addressed with funds from the banks. But at the same time, we see that for 100 years, the banks have been making money off the savings of Americans. What a bank needed to do is basically join the Federal Reserve, pay on these stocks, and they will get 6% back every single year tax-free in some cases. And now, several lawmakers, starting like Barbara Boxer, who was the creator of the highway bill, but also supported by uh, Elizabeth Warren and Mitch McConnell, they look into ways to create uh, a way to take away from this subsidy. We're talking about money that you and me, we put into the bank, our savings, and the bank uses that to buy the stocks, which get them a 6% you know, kickback Rate of every return. year. Yeah. We're talking about deposit accounts that belong to consumers. They don't belong to banks. The, the banks are investing deposit accounts and, and CDs, money markets, things like that, that, that belong to people. And nothing um, infuriates me more than the bank bailout and the Fed for that matter. And there's a lot of call that yeah. the Fed is an antiquated old body and should probably be abolished. And you hear cases like this where they've been giving banks essentially the 6%, not a kickback, but it's, you know, this this leg up yeah. for, you know, 100 years. It's just, oh, it's disgusting. Which is, it's obsolete. If you look at it, it's an obsolete ma uh, a measure because 100 years ago, they had to entice the banks to become part of the Federal Reserve. Now, you're, you're, you need to join the Federal Reserve if you want to bank at some level. If you want to do some lender protected by federal laws, you have to be part of the Federal Reserve. So to offer this 6% uh, dividend, it makes no sense today. And it's just like an assuming deal for, for the banks to keep doing business with the Federal Reserve. Now. The banks are not happy about this situation. They're calling this really, really bad policy, and they're calling the, the, the measure an easy pass for Congress to fund the highways.